Now the Phantom's just taken off, and I sent it out just at uh, oh, three, four feet, something like that, just above the height where it, it, uh, it gives warning peeps when it's too close to the ground. It might have been a bit more than four, say call it five feet, maybe even six. I wasn't measuring, I was just going by what my eye told me what I wanted it to do. And I took it into the centre of this leg of the field. And uh, I think what happens here is uh, there's a bit of twisting about that's not very well judged, I'm afraid. And then I, I sent it up. In the true meaning of the words, I sent it up. I literally sent it up. Uh, I think it went to... I should have taken notes. Uh, I would guess it's something like 80 to 100 feet high, thereabouts. There is a height limit for drones in the UK. It's 400 feet. And uh, I can hardly understand why anyone would want to go as high as that because the countryside would look really very tiny. And I've rotated this far too fast. Far, far too fast. It's showing up as a, as a jerky rotation, which it just shouldn't be at all. So my apologies for that. This version that I'm uh, editing here is being done in the phone. It's the low-res version that the the Phantom sends to the telephone. And this is a, an attempt, semi-successful, to bring it down at a, on a gradual slope, if you like, from the height it was at down to where I was. I didn't judge it very well, and I had to make a couple of uh, adjustments as I got closer to me. And I finished up this short flight just by reaching out and uh, grasping the machine by one of its legs, which you don't see. And it's almost done. There's a tripod with the G12 on it. That's one of the corrections it was for, uh, to the side, and it was too high. So I bring it down manually, and then there we are. That's me about to grasp it, and that's the end of the clip.